Hello again, everybody. Um, so today we're going to switch it up. Instead of doing an offensive video, we're going to kind of jump on to the blue team and uh, do something in terms of like a forensics investigation that you would do and maybe an incident response or something like that. Um, so I found a pretty awesome challenge that was ultimately originally posted by SANS in the CEIC 2015 challenge. Um, so ultimately, you know, this is a bit dated, but uh, I thought it was worth doing a video on in any case. Um, so on the blog 4n6k.com, which is run by a gentleman named Dan, um, there's actually a pretty good write-up on how to do this with a specific uh, GUI tool. And uh, we'll touch on that later, but for now I wanted to try kind of a different approach, and so I decided to use the SANS SIFT virtual machine, which I downloaded from SANS.org, and I have running here. But let's go over the challenge. Um, there is an ntuser.dat hive that we're going to download and analyze and answer the following. What was the most recent keyword that the user Vibranium searched using Windows Search? How many times did the Vibranium account run Excel.exe? And what is the most recent typed URL in the Vibranium ntuser.dat file? So before we jump into this and download the ntuser.dat file, we should ask ourselves what exactly is ntuser.dat? A quick Google search will answer that for us. It is a Windows operating system registry file that contains preferences and settings for each user account on a computer. So in order to visualize that, we will look at my computer and uh, in my actual snooze account, you can see, now I, I do have to stop you, kind of stop the video and say that I did enable um, the view of protected operating system files. That's the only reason I'm able to see this right now, um, which you actually do in the view and then options pane. Uh, but once you've done that, you will notice that I myself have an ntuser.dat user file, which will give you kind of the information about application settings and user settings and that kind of thing. My account, however, is not of interest today. What is of interest is a Vibranium account. So I went ahead and I downloaded the ntuser.dat file to my SANS SIFT virtual machine, um, which is running in VirtualBox. If you watch my uh, kind of lab setup video, this worked very much the same. I simply imported the SANS SIFT appliance and we're pretty much ready to rock. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt the, uh, the very first question, which again is looking for the most recent keyword typed into Windows Search. Uh, I wasn't actually familiar with the registry key uh, that recent searches happen to be stored in. So I did a super roundabout way of figuring it out. And my logic was I'm gonna run RegShot, which is a tool that lets me take a screenshot, or a snapshot rather, of the registry. And then I'm gonna run my own Windows search. And then I'm gonna run a second snapshot of the registry and then I'm gonna compare the two. And that will tell me the key that I'm looking for. And ultimately it did. So the tool that I'm uh, gonna be using is called RegLookup which I did have to, I believe I did have to download it, but I was able to find it using apt-get. Um, so that was pretty simple. I'm gonna use sudo just because I'm pretty sure I need to. Um, so sudo reglookup dash, well, we're, we're just gonna see what this does. So reglookup, we have a couple different options. I'm gonna choose dash p because we know the path that we're looking for at this point. Um, ultimately, you know, like I said, I found this using redshot and it is software. Microsoft Windows current version explorer and word wheel query. Okay, so that should do it. That should give us what we're looking for. And it did not because I didn't specify the actual file, which again is Vibranium. Oh, I'm going to have to change directory to desktop here. Okay, so now I can run this again on Vibranium ntuser.dat. And, ooh, what is that? That is unreadable. Okay, so it looks like we got the output, but the value is not readable to me. So we're gonna pivot to a different tool called RegRipper, which is baked into SANS SIFT and is awesome because it has like a zillion different plugins. So in order to kind of see uh, what the plugins available to us are, we're gonna do like a rip. And so rip.pl is actually what we use to run RegRipper. So sudo rip.pl, let's see what options we have. Dash R is going to specify the file that we want, which is Vibranium. And what it's, 
dash L will list the plugin. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to grab dash I word and see if we find anything. Okay, so we, it looks like there is something that will do word wheel query. I need to figure out what that is. So I'm going to do like a before and after of the matches of word. And it looks like it's just word wheel query. So I'm going to do this. Um, dash P word wheel query. And boom, that's what we're looking for. So this actually comes out in MRU list EX order. Um, I am not an authority on that, so I can't really explain it to you very well. But based on the order that I got this returned in, I'm going to go ahead and say the last keyword that was searched is alloy. And we're going to go ahead and move on to question number two. So question number two is how many times did the Vibranium account run Excel.exe on the system? Um, and in order to check that out, there's actually another plugin uh, called User Assist. And user assist will give us the information that we're looking for. So luckily, it also is using the same tool, Red Ripper, and a different plugin. So we're going to dash P. Actually, we're going to dash L and then grab dash I dash C2 because we want the before and after, remember. And then look up user assist. And it looks like it's just called user assist, as you see the top red answer there. So I'm going to just change this dash P for plugin to user assist. And where's Excel? We'll just do a grab dash I Excel. And it looks like Excel has been run four times. So that's our answer to number two. Excel has been run four times. So the final question is what is the most recent typed URL in the vibranium ntuser.dat file? So I'm going to go back to Red to look up on this one. And I know the key that I'm looking for here, uh, and it's because I've looked at it before. It's in Software Microsoft Internet Explorer and typed URLs. That should be it. So we're going to apply this to the ntuser.dat file, and let's go. So there you have it. The most recent is going to be the one that appears the highest on the list. And that is going to be this one. There's no URL here. Um, so that tells us that that's not what we care about. This is what we're looking for. So ultimately, the answer to number three is what I have highlighted. So that's it, guys. Um, it was a pretty quick challenge and one that I thought was beneficial to look at since we haven't done a whole bunch on the defensive side yet, but uh, it's actually kind of where my career is at this point. Uh, I am, by and large, uh, on the blue team, so to speak. Uh, so I thought that that would be kind of cool to take a look at, and, and I wanted you to uh, kind of take a look at the answers as we scroll through. It looks like Dan got the same stuff that I did. Um, ultimately, he used a different application called Registry Explorer, which I would absolutely recommend checking out if you're on the Windows side. Um, it made this challenge a breeze and you didn't need to do any command line at all, but you know that's just something that I kind of, uh, I, I wanted to see if I could get more familiar with the Sans Sift virtual machine, and ultimately I think that I was able to do so with this challenge. So thanks to Dan for the write-up. This is really good stuff here. Um, I thought it was worth mentioning that he actually does talk about using Red Dripper uh, in order to automate some of these tasks if you were to have to do this across multiple systems. So that was a pretty cool note there at the bottom of his blog post. Um, but yeah, that's that's really it. Um, I'm hoping that you guys liked to see some of the defensive side of things as well. I know that a lot of my videos, most of my videos have been on offense. I'm going to try and do a fair bit of both of them because I find both of them interesting. And like I said, uh, I actually do kind of defensive work as my day-to-day -day job. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, anything that you, know, you had any questions about, feel free to leave in the comments. And uh, until next time, take it easy.